Yay! You made it to day five of the first week! Good job, first graders. So let's get started. You know what we're doing first. We are reviewing our sounds. All right, do them with me. W, wind, woof, H, hat, F, bugs, Z, O, octopus, ah, W, H, whistle, woof, F, fun, Man, we did those fast. That's because you are so smart. Good job, first grade. Okay, we are going to review our trick words. So, I'm going to put up a word. And remember that those trick words, their job is to confuse you and to trick you. And that you can't tap them out. You just have to know them. So, let's not let them trick us today. Here we go. What's this word? Has. Good job. Two. Of, into, be, do, are, the, as, does, From, have. Okay, get your finger out. Because I'm going to say words and you're going to point to them on your screen. You're going to find them. Find, be. Awesome, you should be right here in the middle. Find, does. Oh, bottom corner. Awesome. Find, of. Go all the way up to the top right corner. Find, have. Bottom corner. Great job. Find into. Right here. Good job. Find the. Right there. Find R. Good job. Nothing can fool you guys, can it? Okay, today we have a story time. So I have a story that I just put up. And this story is called Mac and Bugs. Bugs. Why do I hear a z at the end? Because it has a suffix. It's not just one bug. It's bugs. Good job. I'm going to read it and I just want you to follow along. Mac is not a fan of bugs. Not one bit. If a bug gets on Mac's bed, Mac gets mad. Mac yells at the bug. Get off this bed, you big, bad bug. If the bug does not go, Mac yells for his dad. If dad is not there, Mac runs. What kind of bug do you think that is? What would make you run? I know if it were me and I had a bug on my bed, it doesn't matter what kind of bug it is, I'm running because I do not like bugs. Maybe ladybugs. Okay, so let's look into this story, and I want to find my words with suffixes, since that's what we've been talking about this week. So I'm going to get out my marker, and I'm going to read, and you're going to yell, stop, when I come to a word that has a suffix. Here we go. Mac is not a fan of bugs. Stop. Good job. I'm going to circle it. It has a suffix. Good job. Keep going. Not one bit. If a bug gets, I also see a suffix there, good job telling me to stop, on Max, uh-huh, bed, Mac gets, there it is, thanks for telling me to stop, mad. Mac yells, uh-huh, uh-huh, at the bug, get off this bed, you big bad bug bug. If the bug does not go, Mac yells, oh stop, good job, there's that suffix, for his dad. If dad is not there, Mac runs. Oh, and stop again, yep, there's a suffix there. So how many words did we find that have a suffix? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four
seven. Good job. I want to look at this word bug, so I'm looking right here. Bugs. If I cover up my suffix, I'm going to cover up with my pencil, what word do I have left? Bug. So what do we call that word? My base word. So I underline my base word. I'm going to circle my suffix. Okay, let's look down at this last word here. So we're right here. We're at runs. I'm going to cover my suffix to find my base word. So what's my base word? Run. Very good. And then I'm going to underline it and I'm going to circle my suffix. Awesome job. Okay, I'm going to erase all of those. You guys did awesome finding your suffix. I have a question for you, first graders. Who are my characters? Mac. For sure. Bugs? Can a bug be a character? Uh-huh. My last one is the person who's going to come rescue Mac from those bugs. Do you remember who my last character is? Dad. Very good. First graders, what's the setting of the story? So you could have said in a house, but you could have been more specific and said Mac's bed, right? You're right if you said a house because usually our beds are in a house. But if we wanted to get really, really, really specific, we would have said Max Bed, because that's exactly where the story's happening. Okay, good job, first graders. Now, I'm going to read the story one more time to you. And you're going to close your eyes. And you're going to make a movie in your head. You're going to be a director. So inside your head, when you have those eyes closed, you're going to think about what does Max look like? And what do the bugs look like? And what does his bed look like? And you're going to create the movie Max and bugs in your head. Are you ready? Close your eyes. I'm going to read to you. Mac is not a fan of bugs. Not one bit. If a bug gets on Mac's bed, Mac gets mad. Mac yells at the bed, or at the bug, get off this bed, you big bad bug. If the bug does not go, Mac yells for his dad. If dad is not there, Mac runs. Okay, directors, open your eyes. Did you have a good movie? Awesome. Well, that's it for today. Great job.